Hello everyone, welcome to Physio TV. So our topic for today is a little different than what we usually have. Uh, it's a different angle to physiotherapy. It's like a complementary uh, thing that we can add. So um, it's called pranic healing. It's basically based on energy healing. And we're going to talk a little more about it so that you get an idea of what it exactly is. Because for a lot of you all, it's going to be a very foreign concept. So um, the ones, I mean, um, the speakers for today, one is uh, Viral Sarvaya. He's uh, doing his master's in community physiotherapy from Sancheti. He's in the second year. He's been into pranic healing and energy healing since the past six years. He's completed his Arhatic uh, Yoga level one. And uh, he has been an ardent uh, meditator and um, he's uh, incorporated pranic healing, energy healing into physiotherapy in a very beautiful manner. And by the end of the session, we are going to ask him to share his experiences and how it has worked out for him. Um, I'm Manisha and I'm doing my master's in uh, musculoskeletal physiotherapy. I'm in the second year also from Sancheti uh, College of Physiotherapy. I've also been practicing uh, pranic healing and meditation on twin hearts since the past six years. Um, as much as I can, I've tried to amalgamate um, pranic healing with physiotherapy um, and the results have been profound. So uh, let's go ahead. So this is going to be a very informal session. I want to give you something um, to think on. It's like food for thought. So as a, a therapist, I absolutely love what I do. It's like the highlight of my day. So. Um, but in clinical practice, there are times when I feel like there's one little key that's missing. And over the years, as I started um, this amalgamation, like I spoke about, of pranic healing and uh, physiotherapy, the results that I've got are beautiful. And um, that is something that I want to share with all of you. So uh, our master, like the one who introduced uh, modern pranic healing to the world is Grandmaster Choa Koksui. He's our guru when it comes to pranic healing. And he frequently says that an intelligent person doesn't have a closed mind. It's not like an ostrich's head that is buried inside the ground. And, you know, they're not uh, accepting new ideas and concepts. Also, an intelligent person doesn't have a very gullible mind. They don't really accept everything that you give to the person. But an intelligent person is someone who's going to study, who's going to digest, who's going to assess everything and actually look out uh, through experiments and experiences if this is something that is actually fitting well for them. So with this background, what exactly is pranic healing? Um, Viral, can I get the uh, first uh, slide? Yeah. So what exactly is pranic healing? Pranic healing is, is an Asian science and art of energy healing that utilizes prana uh, to heal the whole physical body. So um, what exactly is prana? Prana is uh, basically energy. It's life energy. Yes. So it Pranic healing is something that is going to complement your therapy. It is not something that is looking out to replace orthodox uh, physical therapy or uh, any other form of medical treatment that we are trying to give. So um, the point is that, uh, like we know, that this is our physical body and it is a vehicle for our soul. Likewise, we also have an energy body that is very commonly in India referred to as the aura. So aura is the energy body and it has these chakras. These chakras are energy centers which actually sort of um, help in uh, transfer of energy for the energy to go in and out, which is very important in order for a person to live a very well-balanced life. So, um, yes. So as we uh, go ahead, um, if there's any disturbance in this aura, it's going to manifest as a problem in the physical body. It's going to manifest as an ailment in the physical body. So, uh, for example, if there's a congestion, depletion, or if there's any uh, 
energy which is uh, not vibrating on a very good level it's automatically going to lead to an issue with the physical body so when we're looking at the physical body when we are treating a patient it's important for us to not only look at the physical aspect of it but also to have a little peek at the energy aspect of it so that eventually we can give them this holistic therapy and i think all of us have this aim of uh, making the patient better in a very a uh, wholesome way so when we are looking at physical when we are like looking at emotional why not you know give a little aspect of spiritual as well so take care of the patient in emotional mental physical and spiritual manner for a better outcome um okay so pranic healing is um basically based on two principles the first one is principle of self recovery now we know that the body is capable of healing itself that is a very well known fact to all of us so uh, and the second one is the principle of life energy so for life to exist the body must have some uh, life uh, prana or chi or whatever uh, pranic healing that we are talking about the basis of that is life energy so what happens is uh, by a few sessions of pranic healing what we will be able to do for the patient or for the subject is that we are going to enhance their uh, self healing the body self healing so we are not actually healing the person we are just giving them a little tool that helps them uh, get better by enhancing their own capacity of healing fair enough okay so uh, moving ahead uh, i would like to give an example of this so when we are talking about uh, stress for example now stress is a lower emotion which is actually uh, stress anger jealousy all of this are linked to a chakra in the zippy sternal area now if there's any imbalance if there's any um, uh, like you know if there's any negative emotion that we feel it's going to uh, lead to a imbalance in the chakra which is eventually going to manifest as a heart or a pulmonary disease so we can end up with hypertension it is a very well known fact that people who are stressed are more prone to getting uh, hypertension cardiac illnesses so this is the very basis of it so um i uh, so this example will give you a idea or a perspective of where exactly we are heading okay so to move ahead now how do you exactly do pranic healing uh, that is something that is out of out of scope for this uh, particular uh, webinar that is not something that i am authorized to teach you but i can give you an idea of what you will be taught if you were to learn pranic healing or any basic energy healing for that matter any school so uh, they actually will teach you how to assess the aura and how to understand what are the pitfalls in that to actually uh, come to a conclusion or you can see a little diagnosis of what exactly is going wrong in the energy body and then they'll teach you techniques in order to fill that gap so that you can have a uh, uh, and how to stabilize it and then to reassess whatever uh, energy healing you've done how it is worked and how is the person's aura at that point so um it is something that is very beautifully taught and uh, and all of you all can learn it like 6 years back when i got into pranic healing i was super skeptical about it because it just sounded so alien and it was like energy is something we can't actually see it is something that you can only feel and unless and until you don't get the feeling of it unless and until you don't uh you know experience it for your own self you will not be able to actually understand the effects that it can have so sitting here i would like to tell all of you that once for once go out try something different out try it on your patients and see the kind of effects that you're getting and then please come back and tell me about how it changed the way you look at uh, healing or the way you look at uh, you know giving a wholesome therapy to your patient okay so uh, i have spoken a lot i would request viral to uh, demonstrate a little i mean have a little activity that can actually uh, make you feel what is this energy that i'm talking about
okay thank you manisha so okay first of all we we believe what we see and today we are going to experiment on something which we are not able to see but we have something which is very powerful that is the sense of feeling and that is not very difficult and not going to take you like a lot of days or years to practice it's just like within few moments you will be able to appreciate what are we speaking and what do we mean by energy and if we come to as esoteric science and in terms of scientific terminologies we speak of matter and we speak of this energy as etheric matter okay very which is very subtle and which we cannot see by the naked eyes but we can definitely feel it okay so we'll first give it a try okay a small experiment and we'll try and figure out okay what are we really speaking of you know we are going to connect it to our practice and our patience and the uh, health it, you know for a complete well being so simple we are going to use our hands and we, in our physiotherapy we have our hands and uh, we always speak of the touch the magic touch right and what is it about what is that magical thing in our hand which is you know we speak of it is miraculous and you know magical so we are going to feel it right first step is we have to sensitize our hands so in pranic healing we have centers and the energetic centers and each center have certain set of functioning and the for this experiment we are going to use our hand centers to actually feel this energy so for the first step we want to sensitize our hands right so what are we going to do we are going to just press at the center of our palms okay this way and the other palm and then we are going to press the tip of the fingers just press so basically we are just tapping it to our center this is like knocking the door and it opens up right once you knock somebody has to you have to knock for it to open right and now you just have to calm yourself down you know don't be in a hurry to feel or you know don't be anxious about it you will be able to feel it or not we are just here to experiment right so first we just want to bring our hands in this position gently come to your breathing come down relax yourself and focus on your inhalation and exhalation go for it for 2 to 3 breaths as you are becoming aware of your breathing okay the breathing is the most natural thing in our body and as you are being aware of your breathing now gently bring your awareness to the center of your palms stay calm stay focused be aware of your breathing and the center of your palms now gently bring it little closer and away move your hands very gently don't be in a hurry don't be anxious it gently move it closer and away if some of you are very sensitive they are already start feeling something okay now what you'll do is take your right hand and bring it to a circular motion very gently no hurry stay calm stay focused on your breathing now anti clockwise now the left hand rotate it clockwise and anti clockwise now gently be aware of something between your hands and those of you all are sensitive you might be feeling something like magnetic Uh, as if you are holding on to something right so and that's it come you can relax so what what did we feel right and first of all those who are sensitive and who have felt congratulations 
you have actually practically and experimentally understood what we are speaking of in terms of energy though we can't see it we have the capacity and the instruments to feel it right and basically what we have what we felt was not something we created it was already existing it's just that we brought our awareness into it the entire session and the objective of our session is to bring that awareness into healing healing in terms of energy understanding our patient understanding the situation the problems and the complaints in terms of energy so that we have a better understanding of treating them in on various levels right so basically you have just felt your own system you have felt your own energy system around your hands okay and now as we go ahead we'll understand about this healing furthermore and later on we'll add some of the examples based on our own experience how this has helped to enhance our own practices so handing it back to dr manisha to continue with the session okay so moving on um i want to add a little to viral uh, what viral just said uh, like bringing the awareness in us and in the uh, patient about uh, something beyond physical so whenever we look at pain pain is because of a bunch of reasons right there's not one particular thing that we point out saying ki this is the reason for pain like now as uh, we are understanding pain more and more we have come to a conclusion that pain has a lot of factors that come into play and one of them is the psychological aspect so uh, pranic healing is also going to help us deal with the psychological aspect of pain let it be acute let it be chronic um yes okay so uh, moving on now one very important part of pranic healing is twin heart meditation now for a healer to actually go ahead and do some healing it is important for the healer to be um, resilient it's important for the healer to be uh, you know put together and in balance and twin heart helps you do that now uh, in our body we have 11 major chakras in the aura so with twin hearts we are actually focusing on two of them one is the heart chakra it's um, near our physical heart and the other one is the crown chakra so why these two chakras so the heart chakra is basically the center for love yes uh, heart chakra like uh, you can uh, see in the uh, image on the ppt it's uh, that is uh, the kind of uh, i mean that's how it appears to a clairvoyant a clairvoyant is a person who can actually see your energy body and the different chakras in it so well yeah going ahead so heart chakra is the center of love and for compassion and our crown chakra is basically the center of divine uh, uh, love now uh, it is something like a lot of you all might be aware of something called as a flow state so you know being uh, aware that you are a part of a whole you are a, a little piece in this uh, gigantic universe that's working together as a little part of this huge machine okay so being in a flow state is basically uh being aware of what is going on and being in tune with life and so much in tune that you all your steps are guided that you feel like uh your intuition is so strong it's guiding you just the way it is supposed to so uh, the crown chakra is basically the center for that so what happens is uh whenever the crown and the heart have to be activated simultaneously uh the heart is like the key to the crown so unless and until you don't have a lot of compassion loving kindness uh your crown is not going to get activated so for you to actually be in that flow state to have all these amazing experiences that i'm talking about it is very important to practice loving kindness and that is going to sort of open your heart chakra so your twin hearts is going to deal with your heart and your crown so let me give you a little example that might just set things straight so for example if i tell you that you have to provide electricity to one household there's a very limited amount of electricity that you will be providing so you will receive some and you will give that out but now if i tell you that you are supposed to provide electricity you are going to be the medium through which electricity is going to go through the entire city 
so the amount of electricity the amount of energy that you are going to receive is going to be tremendous in order to give it to the city so while actually doing a twin heart meditation you are told to bless the earth you're told to imagine the earth as a small ball in front of you and you keep your hands in a blessing position and uh, you activate your crown and you bless the earth so uh, it is actually a form of a guided meditation you are not going to go through the meditation today in uh, this webinar but i would like to make you aware of the tools that we have i want you to know what can be done so that you can go ahead and do it so uh, or get in touch with us so that we can connect you to people who can teach you how to do this uh yeah so uh, like i said it's um, uh, the more you give the more you receive so in giving that is you receive so the more you're blessing the earth there's more downpour of divine energy for you and you acting as a medium when so much of energy is actually going through you it's going to transform you as a person so uh, it's like uh, for example if you have a radio and you sort of tune the frequencies in it when you get tuned to a particular frequency there's some voice that you can hear so think of it like that you're tuning your uh, body ka energy to this particular frequency that's going to okay so um so this was about twin hearts now i understand that uh, all of this uh, might be very foreign to a lot of you so i will just uh, quickly summarize what i want to say one is that pranic healing is a no touch therapy it takes care of a lot of uh, uh, aspects it takes care of a wide spectrum of uh, issues it can be physical emotional psychological mental and also as a therapist what i want to uh, tell you is uh, that there is something called as an energy system where you where there is actually energy flow from one person to the other so just being in awareness that there is something like that that exists and uh, having positive um and compassionate thoughts for your patients uh, uh, is actually going to help you uh connect with them better it's also going to help you uh, have a more positive impact with therapy i am not promoting you to go ahead and learn all of this but just being aware that there is something like that that exists is actually going to bring profound uh, difference in your therapy so um uh, i would actually like viral to talk a little more about this to give you a little more idea on how exactly practically uh these things can impact and uh yeah so i'll just uh, hand it over to viral now thank you thank you so much manisha for introducing prani healing to our viewers and uh, i agree there is a lot of information and we can't compile it's like a huge ocean of information regarding the energy and the prani healing science and we won't be able to do the justice to give that entire detail and you know at a certain pace but as a therapist we are actually here to share how this energy system has helped us to enhance our practice to see the patient in a very different view altogether and to go from that physical to a biopsychosocial model right and to de help them completely for a complete well being so first to you know connect to you all i'll just share the very first time i learned pranic healing and what was you know going on uh, into my mind and you know so I, i was not into it i i won't buy this thoughts very easily and being a science student i totally first of all you know put it in the right zone all the nonsense things and psychological things are coming up it's all in the mind it's not real and stuff like that so okay then again we are science students and we should give a try and we to we should figure out our the truth in our own way so i went ahead i learned quite a few things and then still after learning also i was like whether it is working or not i am not very sure so uh, the very first patient came to me the patient was aware that i learned a uh, something called as pranic healing and was all new 
and she came with a complaint of heel pain and it was a continual spur of walking and it would always hurt and the surgeon said okay, okay we can just like make changes by after the surgery we can remove that section of the bone and uh, the she was one of my colleagues only and she was not ready to go for that and it was not a major thing but it was causing that difficulty i said okay let's give it a try and now it's a bone now i'm not like uh, talking about stress and good feeling bad feeling it's l- literally legit a physical bone and it's i'm not able to I'm not going to do anything about it so i said okay let's give it a try and i i for a month and uh, she gave she she would be to, you know try it out she was very accepting to this idea and eventually she had a very lesser amount of symptoms and eventually the pain disappeared completely she was very comfortable while walking and still i wouldn't believe like what i did and i won't believe on what i am doing actually you know we want something which is solid a solid proof a solid outcome and then we she had the previous x ray she showed me that spur and then we were working hospital and we got an x ray done and uh, i was shocked and i was mind blown the shape of the bone had changed and i was completely mind blown i was like i haven't touched the patient yet and it's a bone it's not something i'm doing with a brain or some you know and uh, affirmations and something like that it's legit bone and there is no spur anymore uh, on the x ray then this got me into learning more and more further higher courses and i was able to manage complete quite a few amount of courses in the school right so this is how pranic healing actually started in my life then over a five year i'll tell you now the essence of what, where am i right now with all this information and all this techniques i'm carrying with me i have started seeing patient, patients as you know a belief system patient walks into me i see the patient as a entire belief system and with that belief system with that energy that it carries it will decide how much that person is going to get healed how is going to get help from physical therapy along with that any other medicines it was um, it's a matter of the energy now i'll give you a simple analogy of what energy is actually a lake is very beautiful because of the water a fruit is very beautiful because of the juice and the sweetness it carries and we are powerful beings because of the energies we carry and this energies actually represent what we believe in okay so now i started seeing the patient from from an energetic point of view and now as we know the energy cannot be created neither it can be destroyed but it can be transformed it can be transmuted and while practicing the the way i touch of, of course uh, as per the manual therapy and few other techniques the moment i am touching the patient i am absolutely aware that with that touch the pain can be transmuted into joy and happiness along with the therapy i am aware that i am also not dealing with just physical body but something which is inside that emotion that uh, the root cause the life situation which actually created that pain and the stress and the drama of life that person is carrying and now i am actually touching all those things all together and while touching this entire belief system of that patient i want to help them at the best of my ability okay so i i'll give you a very very interesting example now how my state is right now so to whoever are aware of lord hanuman okay so hanuman had a desire to and lord ram asked him to get the herbs and the thing so hanuman actually went there the point is whenever when hanuman reached the herbs how did it look like what how am i supposed to heal you know because now the uh, hanuman third and the mountain was huge it was a huge problem and similarly our pain is like a mountain to us and we are like a small being and the, the mountain and the problems and trouble is huge and we don't know what to do what are we going to do 
he did only one simple thing he focused on his breath he went inside he understood his energy system that physical is not the limitation i am beyond i have more power and the capacity to heal the moment he came to his breathing the mountain became a smaller as small as like a you know a box he became huge gigantic way way better way powerful than the mountain the problems the pain you know similarly once we actually be aware of our energy system and we believe believe is the key if we believe that our energy can heal us all the medicines are inside us and along with physiotherapy the moment i make this attempt to make the patients aware of their capacity to heal themselves my physical therapy has done magic it has given fantastic results and you know in an essence this is how my experience has been okay so this is in a gist okay if if i go on there is a lot more to it and how you know these things are helping me but this is how it works basically we are just empowering the patient heal themselves and we are just being the medium the facilitator and now we know the truth that patient heals themselves and we are just the facilitator we are just the medium for them to get healed so i hope this gives you some insight into what we are speaking of in terms of pranic healing not only in pranic healing but in any energy system any school and uh, in any area of health basically we are actually pointing out so pointing out there can be different points to it like a point is a pranic healing it can be a different sort of yoga art of living but they are all pointing to one simple aspect that if we are aware of our own self we have the capacity to bring tune to create orderliness within our own system that can fasten our healing okay and uh, we encourage each and every therapist to think okay be aware of how can this things can be used and inculcated into our practices okay there is no set guidelines to it it's all come down comes down to our personal experiences but eventually more and more people bring this awareness and this way of treating patients definitely one day will have a set guidelines to how to stay aware how to you know help patients in those areas of life also thank you handing over to manishta would you like to add some okay so um this is exactly um, the last part that viral said i would uh, like to add a little to that so this entire uh, session was actually about making people aware of there is something um, called as the uh, energy body and uh, how this energy system can actually transform your practice so it's not about how you do it it's about that you do it so it's just that we have been introduced to it through pranic healing but uh, for a lot of you it could be something else but please go ahead explore this and um, make it a mainstay in your practice i'm sure you're all going to enjoy it also not only you but your patients as well and it's going to enhance the quality of the therapy that you're actually providing and it's going to give you the satisfaction that you've always wanted so yeah that's that and uh, so to end the session i would like to thank uh, physio tv for providing this amazing um, platform so that we could share our thoughts so that we could uh, put um, a little uh, thought into all of your uh, heads uh, thank you so much uh, parak sanjeevi sir manisha sanghvi ma'am and apurva shimpi sir for creating this amazing uh, platform uh, thank you to our technical team for being with us throughout and uh, for guiding us uh, whenever there were so many glitches that happened uh, apart from that i would also uh, like to thank viral because he uh, so beautifully put forth these examples so that people actually understood what i was trying to uh, say hopefully because i'm sure i have confused most of you all in uh, regards to this new concept but and last but not the least i would love to thank our viewers i am excessively grateful if you watched all through and i hope you uh, do really well in your lives and may the force be with you always thank you